Hey guys, welcome to another New World video. In today's video, I thought we could once again have a look at furnishing, why it is important, and how to level it efficiently, and what to do with it once you have it leveled. I know I've made this video before, but so much has changed since I made that one, that I thought it was an appropriate time to update this guide. Because I've been getting so many people asking if my old one would still work, and the answer is no. So, let's get into it. So first thing we should have a look at, of course, is why furniture. Well, furnishing in New World is one of the most fun, profitable professions in the game, especially now with the introduction of music. As a furnisher, you will be able to craft very cool home decor, beds, tables, shelves, chairs, anything that you can imagine that would decorate your home, you will likely find in this trade skill. You will also be the one people turn to when they want storage chests made, which, as we all know, is always important because storage in this game can become an issue really fast for anyone who does not have the top tier chests. One of the main reasons though that anyone should want a level furnishing is of course trophies. As a furnisher you will be the one to craft the major trophies for you, your company or even to sell as a service or to craft and place on the market. Trophies are very important to every aspect of the game from combat to gathering even to fishing. A furniture maker will always be able to make some coin crafting these. And finally now as a furnisher you will be the one making the new musical instruments that have come to the game with the new musician trade skill. The guitar, the mandolin, the flute, the drums, these are all made by you. And right now the prices and demand are high, so no better time to max this skill. So let's get into the leveling. From 0 to 50, the first thing you will want to make here is 66 apprentice drums. The reason for this is because when you craft musical instruments you require as a material the lower tier versions, and you are going to need these later, so you might as well get some experience for them now. Again, you will need these, so do not salvage them after crafting, just put them in your storage for later. So for this you will need 660 timber, 198 iron ingots, 264 sandpaper, and 990 ash stain. Now this will only give you roughly 2,112 furniture experience, but again you will need these for later. To finish this section we will be making the Mother's Love statuette. This comes from a schematic you will have to go out and get, but it isn't difficult. You head to this location here in Eden Grove and you will see a monument. Now I will say before we look at it, this is probably the realest and saddest as well as the most beautiful location in the game. Many of you do know why, and if you don't, I would suggest googling it. When you interact with it, you will receive a lore page that was written by a dev for his wife who passed. You will also of course learn the schematic for the Mother's Love statuette. Now, after you have learned this schematic, you will want to craft 491 of these. This will require 1964 stone and 491 milk. These were fairly inexpensive to make, and I couldn't, to be fair, bring myself to salvage them, so I placed them on the ground to be taken by the server. I know, a bit silly, but something just didn't feel right about salvaging them. Now, moving on to 50 to 100. The first thing we will do here is take those 66 tier 2 drums out and put them to use. Here we will be crafting 66 musicians drums. For this we will need 990 lumber, 264 steel ingots, 330 sandpaper, 1320 maple stain, and 132 snail slime. Everything here is pretty simple. The only thing here you may want to farm because the price tends to go up and down is the snail slime. You can get this from salvaging aquatic snails, which of course you will catch in fresh water in First Light, Monarch's Bluff, Everfall, Brightwood, and Restless Shore, and of course Eden Grove. But this will take some time. So if the price is reasonable, buying them will be your best option because you don't need very many. After you have made these, again, do not salvage them as they become so important later. Just store them away and move on to our next item. Now, the easiest method to finish this section up in terms of material cost will be once again making Mother's Love statuettes. You will need to make 1312 of these to reach 100 furnishing from this point, which will require 5248 stone and 1312 milk. Again, I wouldn't salvage these, but it's entirely up to you, I'm just being sentimental. Now that we have reached 100 furnishing, this is where things used to get very difficult, but with changes in the July patch along with some new recipes, this is exactly the opposite. So from 100 to 150, 
So here we will once again, you guessed it, get out our 66 drums we made in the last section. Because here, we will be making 66 composer's drums once again. For this we will need 1320 wordwood planks, 330 star metal ingots, 396 sandpaper, 1650 oak stain, and once again, 132 snail slime, and 132 resonant hides. These are a new type of hide that was added with the July patch. You will make it over at the tanners using lumber and rugged leather. Nothing extremely rare or expensive here. And that's it. That's all you had to do to reach 150 furnishing now. So much easier than the old days of spending hundreds of hours or tens of thousands of coin on beeswax. Now that we have reached 150, it is time to finish up our training. To do this, we will be making 26 virtuoso drums. To make these 26 drums, we will need, of course, 26 of the epic drums we made last section, and 910 ironwood planks, 208 oracalcum ingots, 390 sandpaper, 1300 mahogany stain, 104 snail slime, and 156 resonant hides. And a weird bug here is when you're crafting these drums, you will see at the bottom of the screen the crafting number changing, but it won't show the items like it generally does. But do not worry, it is crafting them. Just wait a few moments watching the crafting number. And then boom, you're done. You're 200 furniture. I dare say that this used to be the most difficult profession to level, and it has now become probably the easiest. Unbelievably easy, right? The days of making 30,000 stains wasting hundreds of thousands of coin, those are gone now. And the nice thing about these drums is, you can sell them for a decent profit, if they have the right perks. Or you can salvage them for guaranteed infused engineering parts you can then use to get extra gypsum casts, rare materials, whatever you'd like. Even sell them if that's what you choose. So now that your furnishing is 200, what's next? Well, there is a ton of coin to be made. I've included links in the description to the routes I run for rare furniture schematics, trophy mats, and more. All of the items that you as a furniture maker will want to be farming. Because when you get these, you can craft trophies, rare furniture, chests, and sell them on the market and make a ton of coin. One thing a lot of people overlook is the benefit of incense. Now, as a 200 furniture maker, you can craft the highest quality of this, which is incredibly useful in almost any combat situation. And of course, craft and decorate your home. There's a lot of times in New World when we are waiting on content drops, and we really don't have a ton of exciting things to do. This is the time when you'll want to put your furniture skill to use and decorate your home in cool ways. Now the biggest way to make money with your furniture skill will be by making golden steel storage chests. To learn this you will need to find the schematic for it, and this won't be easy, as it is the rarest in the game. Or one of them if it isn't quite the rarest. It only drops from elite ancient chests and elite supply chests, in level 50 plus zones, and the drop rate is extremely low. And when I say low I mean it. 0.00023% low. And yep, you guessed it, it's not influenced by luck. You can also get it from tier 3 furniture aptitude crates. But this is not a way to go about getting it. When you open a tier 3 furniture aptitude crate which doesn't come by cheap, you have 25% chance to receive a schematic and there are 227 in the potential pool. So the chances of pulling this one are very very low. You can, in a way, effectively double your chances of getting it however. Which I will admit isn't much when you're talking about the drop rate on this. But it is something. So when you loot an elite chest on game side you roll. And if you roll the correct amount you will access the loot bucket for the chance at the schematic for this chest. However, once this has been achieved, you will then have another roll game side that will randomly select one of the items in the bucket, which of course contains 22 items as seen on the screen. Now, if you look closely, you will notice something. Do you see it? 11 of these items are zone locked to Scale Reach. So what does this mean? If you farm elite chests outside of Scale, you eliminate 11 items from your potential roll. So when you do get lucky and you roll to access this loot pool, you will have a lot less items in your random roll for the chest schematic. In any event, this will be very difficult, and it will take some time. But in the end, it will pay off in a huge way. So be sure to hit those elite chests every day once you max the skill. Your wallet will thank you later. Okay guys, that's all for this one. I will be posting the weaponsmithing next. So until then, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.